Hey everybody, today as we talk about migraines, we're gonna go over all the different medication options that are available to you. And obviously your physical therapist um, cannot prescribe any of these for you, but I think it's important to understand what all of the options are and everything that's out on the market so that you can take this knowledge with you and share it with your physician and have a good discussion with him or her to see if any of these migraine medication options would be beneficial for you in managing your migraines. Um, because unfortunately, Unfortunately, sometimes the only way to experience relief and decrease um, frequency and severity of your migraines is the medications. So um, let's talk about the different categories of drug options that are out there right now. The first big category is preventative medication, and these are used for those of you who experience um, more chronic type migraines typically one or more per week. Um, and also for those of you who may not have them quite as frequently, but have tried a myriad of other options out there and nothing is working for you. So sometimes these preventative type meds are a benefit to you as well. These are drugs that are taken on a daily basis. Um, and again, the goal is to help decrease the severity of them, decrease the frequency of your migraines, and decrease the intensity of your migraines. Um, the important thing to remember is that if you are given one of these drugs by your physician, um, that they can take several weeks before they reach their peak benefit. So stick with them for a little while to see if it is beneficial in helping you with your migraine management. There are different types of drugs out there that are um, fall into this preventative type category. The first one is actually um, blood pressure medication. Different beta blockers and calcium channel inhibitors um, have been beneficial in management of migraines. Drugs like atenolol and verapamil have been um, consistently used with those suffering and dealing with migraines, as well as different antidepressants. We talked about the link between serotonin um, when we talked about migraines before, as well as, um, so serotonin's role in migraines and its link um, to depression type symptoms as well. So sometimes these antidepressant type medications are used in uh, migraine management also and are very effective, um, as well as anticonvulsants um, such as gabapentin and topiramate. Um, those have been used frequently in migraine management as well. Um, serotonin antagonists have been used also, as well as Botox. And this is used as an injection to help inhibit the pain signals from your trigeminal nerve. And if you remember back to one of our earlier videos, we talked about um, the impact of the trigeminal nerve in migraine pain and symptomatology. So um, these are all the preventative type meds out there that you can discuss with your doctor. The other type of medication that's available to you are acute type management medications. These are taken once you've already started to experience the first signs of your migraine, be it an aura or head pain, um, whatever warning signs that you get that your migraine's gonna start, this is when you would take these type of medications. The goal of the acute management drugs that are available to you is to stop your migraine in its tracks, and they're usually effective within two to four hours of the onset of your symptoms. Um, so the goal is within that four hour window that you are able to get back Back to fully functioning within your life and staying out of that dark room until you feel better. Um, a lot of these drugs can be found over the counter. Um, again, even though they're over the counter, you still want to clear them with your physician and make sure that it's a good solid treatment option for you and won't interact with any of the other um, medications that you might be on or treatments that you're undergoing at the time. Um, these are things like um, different analgesics and NSAIDs like ibuprofen, Excedrin migraine, those types of drugs that are general pain management medications, not necessarily specific to migraines themselves, but um, do help a lot of people with the management of their migraines. There's also um, ergotamines and triptans, which can be given um, sometimes as an oral medication, um, IV or injection. Um, some of these even come in nasal spray form. Um, some patients, if these work for them, um, a lot of times you'll find them in the emergency room if you go to the ER because of your migraine. Um, some people are able to get them for home prescription use also. So um, I hope that you can take this information with you to your doctor and help get those migraines under control. Um, again, as always, if you have any questions or concerns or thoughts before the next video, please feel free to message me. Until then, you guys take care and feel good.